focus, the accolades, the applause, the elation. 10 years after this group last won this major race, they break through with an emotional moment that means everything. Bathurst last year was the culmination of everything we talked about, a three year plan of walk, crawl, run, get our team back to some respect, get some results on the board, start to win some races, and then hopefully win something big. But I think the real benefit from Bathurst was the belief within the team. It does mean everything to them. The reaction from that team is unbelievable. We've talked about these things for so long and you know, you actually need some payoff for the team to go, holy hell, this is where we're at. And so that's really exciting for me because that's just the first step. It's having so much fun trying to extract the speed out of it. They're still learning every lap that there was something else I could do a little bit different to go a bit faster. And uh, that's what's so awesome about Bathurst. There's so many corners, so many, um, there's so much more in yourself that you can find. That is a staggering lap by Chaz Monster. That is unbelievable. Fastest lap ever in qualifying. Everything's got to go your way. You got a fast car, an awesome team. Um, and just obviously I was in the right seat at the right time and um, kept it on the black stuff. And yeah, to, to get the Peter Brock trophy is something pretty special. I think the, the best thing that happened for us, obviously we, we knew we had a pretty quick car. We thought we weren't a standout, but we were up in the top three or four, four cars for the, for the weekend. Um, and then me and Lee just focused on, on ourselves to get the most out of ourselves through every those last couple of practice sessions into qualifying. And I think that made a lot of difference as well instead of trying to chase something with the car. So um, yeah, the weekend couldn't have gone smoother. Obviously it was a little bit of heart and throat moment during the race when, when the tire decided to let go. Um, but that's Bathurst. Up on the inside is Boston. They are too wide at the cutting and that is a very difficult thing to do. I obviously, a few cars out there thought the only way to kind of beat us was kind of hang us uh, in a bit of a danger zone close to the fence. So um, yeah, balked us up a little bit. And um, for me, I was just trying to make sure I avoid all contact because it's still a long race to go. And came out the other side and picked back off one of the cars that we lost out of position to. And, uh, put the nose down and then the strategy falled in our way with the, the safety car coming at the right time and, and got our track position back but the car in clean air was, was really, really quick. Obviously, Bathurst, coming off the Bathurst win, we're obviously full of confidence here at the moment but um, it's one track, you know, we want to try and be consistent throughout the whole year. I think from year one, from when I first came to the team to year two, was a massive step up. We want to keep that natural progression going so, um, yeah, obviously, like most of the front runner guys in the championship, we want to try and go after the championship win, but it's all going to come down to our performance at the end of the day. So um, I know the guys and girls at WAU have been working extremely hard in the off season to, to keep moving our package forward. Um, I know I've been working pretty hard, definitely the last couple of weeks, maybe not so much over the Christmas New Year period, but um, to try and get physically fit and mentally fit and get ready for this year because it's going to be another tough group. Yeah, we obviously do our own engine development in-house. Obviously, the team does a fantastic job with that. We work extremely hard throughout the year um, to make sure we got the best engines that we can to, by the time it comes to the great race. And obviously, we've got great partners on board to, to make sure that happens as well. So I know over the last couple of years, it's been a little bit tricky for us in, with our engines and our engine department, but without you know people like Mobile One, we wouldn't be able to be where we are today. So you know this win at Bathurst was just as much as them. Like I said, we can't do it without those guys. The hard times were especially hard because we were originally the famous Holden Racing Team and the expectation was we should be competing for wins at every race. Uh, and when you find yourself mid-pack and then towards the, the back of the pack, um, hope is easily lost in sport and all you're looking for is a little bit of momentum. Um, we had a couple of fog storms with some Clipsal results and Adelaide results which gave us a little bit of impetus but pretty quickly afterwards you'd get back to the, wow, this is going to be a tough year. And that weighs on the crew. Uh, the good part is that also, that, that hurt, that pain builds desire and a genuine feeling within the team that we're sick of this and we want to do something different. And for me, um, as part of this team, it's not one voice yelling, let's go this direction. It's a lot of voices and all the teams saying, we want this. Um, so you get the, the icing on the cake with someone special like Chaz along and there's you know, a little bit of belief um, and that's capped off by an amazing Bathurst result.
The 2021 winner is Jazz Moster. Yeah, boy. Well the people and the experience uh, within this team is astounding and it's been there all the time. We've just added little bits of experience. People like Carl and Shippy coming in, people like Adam DeBore, um, and then you have your drivers and the culmination of everyone and the great people we got um, created something pretty special, which was cool to be part of. The interesting thing is we've hardly spoken about Bathurst since we've been back because everyone realises that this is just the start. It's, it can't be where it finishes. That's not the last chapter in the book. We've got to keep going. And so the pep and the step is everyone looking forwards and what's next? What, what are we focusing on? Where are we taking our team to? What parts are we developing? What are we trying to create within our team? And that's pretty cool to be part of as well. So for me, um, that genuine belief that's eking its way through the team is a very powerful thing and it's just helping the team to maintain that momentum and give them the tools to take it to the top. Mobile One have been with us for 29 years. We're going to go into 30 years with the next uh, contract development and in that respect it's such a special partnership in motorsport not only because of the length and longevity it's because they've stuck through with us through the hard times and enabled us through some pretty difficult times developing engines to protect them and gain performance. So that association and alignment is integral and part of our team. In fact, you talk to a lot of our fans and we're the mobile one team. So um, as far as a lot of people look for and what they look for in our cars, it's the mobile one brand is synonymous with Walkinshaw and Ready United and the other major partners associated with our team. It's not only in the high moments that you work with mobile, but it's also when things get difficult, when you're trying out new control parts, and if they may be having issues, creating issues in the car. There were times when we were on the COVID tour that uh, Carl Foe and myself were talking to mobile representatives around the world and talking to their research laboratories and looking for solutions to engine challenges that were not of our doing. And in that respect, I know that they've got that support and we can send parts to Europe and the US to look at what issues were being uh, evolved and how we could deal with them was amazing. And that kind of technology is not something you can get with any partner and it's pretty unique to Mobile One. We've got the team, we've got the drivers, we've got the engineers, and we're backed by the right partners in the technology of Mobile One. So I'm excited, let's see what we can do. Thank <laughs> you.